Hi everyone! Today's look is inspired by the 1940s and this video is part of a big collab video with six other YouTubers so check below for all their links so you can go watch and subscribe to them. We're going to start off with foundation, I'm trying to mist my little sponge and I'll be applying the Maybelline Matte and Portless Foundation. I am just loving this stuff. All the products will be listed down below as usual in the information box. And with the sponge, the reason why I really love this sponge is because it gives me a really natural look to my face and it just blends out everything like seamlessly and effortlessly. Now I'll be applying concealer. I'm going to do the little triangle form beneath the eyes just to illuminate that area and then I'm going to be applying concealer on any areas where I have darkness or blemishes on my face. I'm going to be using the same sponge to blend out all of the concealer. This sponge just blends it all, especially when you mist it a little bit. It just goes on perfectly and now I'm just making sure everything's nice and blended all over my face. Next up, I'm going to be pressing on powder. This way nothing is going to move around. If you swirl, sometimes your concealer can move around, so pressing it's probably the best way to apply powder, especially loose powder. Women in the 1940s really loved bright shades for their blush. Reds and pinks were very popular colors at that time, so I'm going to be taking this bright cherry red and putting it on my cheeks, and I'm going to be building up the color slowly but surely just so it can look a little bit more natural than just having red cheeks like a clown. So <laughs> building it up slowly but surely, this is why I really love kind of a dual fiber brush because it applies just a tiny bit and it just looks very soft on the skin. Also what I really noticed in pictures is that women would apply a lot of the shade in the apples of the cheeks so it's good to smile when you're applying your blush. Now I'm going to add some eyeshadow primer on my lids so the eyeshadows don't crease on me. For a 1940s look, you want to make sure you use nothing but matte shades. I'm going to start off with a creamy color shade close to my skin tone so you can adjust it based on your skin tone and I'm going to be applying it mostly on the lid but I am putting a sheer application all over the eyelid. Now I'm taking a matte brown shade that is a little bit darker than my skin tone and I'm going to be applying it on the crease but I want it to look very very soft and diffused. So nothing harsh, no cut creases, you want just a really subtle defined eye. In the 1940s, eyeshadows weren't a really big thing. It was mostly about bright cheeks, bright lips, and a really bold lash line. So when it comes to eyeshadows, keep it soft and natural. Now we're moving on to the eyeliner. And for this look, you don't want to do a really thick winged eyeliner. That's more of a 50s style. For this, you just want to make that lash line look thicker and more just voluminous, kind of like you're wearing a lot of false eyelashes. You can if you want to, but I'm not doing false eyelashes, so I'm just trying to do a just a very basic liner. In the 30s, really thin eyebrows were in, but in the 40s you started to see a little bit more thicker brows, more natural brows, and they had quite a high arch. So I'm trying to do just a little bit more of an arch on my brows. I know my brows are naturally thick and bold, but it doesn't hurt to define them just a little bit more. If you want to know more about filling in your brows and taking care of them, I will link my video all about brows down below in the information box. Now I'm going to be curling my eyelashes and I do three presses. So at the base, in the middle, 
also at the top and maybe four at the tippity top of my eyelashes and I'm gonna be adding a ton of mascara a bunch even on the outside or inside of the lashes I am just coating every single eyelash just so they can look really really defined really bold you can add false eyelashes if you want but I'm just I just look at false eyelashes I'm sticking to mascara now we're moving on to the lips. First I'm going to be concealing my lips with the leftover foundation and concealer and then we're going to be applying a bright red lip. I am in love with this lip color from NARS. It is just beautiful. You can apply once again a lip liner if you want a more defined look but we're going to be doing something that will define the lips a little bit more in a minute. question for you guys what is your favorite red lipstick I am just in love with red lipstick I cannot get enough of them so I want to know what your favorite one is so let me know in the comments below now we're gonna be doing the reverse lip liner trick so I'm gonna get concealer and just outline my lips with concealer and then we're gonna blend it out this way the red is gonna just pop even more so it is a great trick especially for bold lip colors and I'm going to be using just a q-tip to diffuse the concealer. And that's it for the 1940s inspired makeup tutorial. It's something that I was requested quite a lot to do because of my facial features and now you have it. 1940s inspired makeup tutorial. I heard that I looked a lot like Snow White <laughs> during that day, which is totally fun. I get it pretty often, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, this is a collab video. All the links will be down below in the information box. Please make sure to check everyone in the collab video out. There's six of us, so down below, you can go subscribe to their channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. And here are all the ladies and their looks from the Decades Club. Abby did the 1920s, Ella did 1950s, Emily did 1960s, Mallory did 1970s, Sanjita did 1980s, and Melanie did 1990s. Click on their faces to go to their channel and watch their look, and don't forget to subscribe! I've been growing out my hair for over almost, almost a year.